guys, so today's video is another Owl Crate unboxing and this time we have two boxes. So the first box I'll be unboxing will be the February box and then I'll have the box that I bought not under subscription. I subscribed for the January box, that's when I first started, and I missed the December box. However, they put the December box back up because they had a few left over. They put it up for an extra 20% off. I was really intrigued in the December box. I liked what everyone got. I was interested in, in the story or the book that everyone received as well. So I ordered that. Now that it's come, I'm a bit wary what is actually in the box because some people got different things. Let's just get straight into it because I'm really excited and we all love unboxings of new things, so. I'm so excited for this box. This was the Sci-Fi Love, the February monthly box and yes. I just remembered I forgot to bring scissors with me. This is the second time I've done this. Why have I, why have I not learned? See if I can do it with my nails. Arr, come on. Come on, Katie. I just cut my nails yesterday. What an idiot. Why did I not think this through? Aha. I just saw my clippers. My trusty clippers. I used these last time I opened the box. Now I'm using them again. And we're in, guys. Here we go. Ooh, what is this? This is the little postcard. Oh, I'm assuming that is a box person for me. I don't know. I have no idea. And then it says all about what's in the box on the back, which I am not going to look at because I do not want to know. Okay, so the first thing I can see in this box, this cute little smaller box. Yes, I have injured myself. I've hurt myself. So in this cute little box. Oh my gosh, my sister's gonna love this. It is from Doctor Who. I, what is this? Oh, it's magnetic. It's a magnetic pin badge. That is huh? really magnetic. That would actually look so good on my jumper right now because my jumper is like blue and white. That is really hard. I'm trying to get the back of. Ah! Look! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video now though. Next is this pink thing. So we have a pink tote bag and instantly we know what this is about. I haven't actually, this is kind of a spoiler because I haven't actually um, got around to reading these series. I know there's like so many fans out there that are probably screaming at this, screaming at my video right now and saying, what? But it is on my shelf. I have all of the books on my shelf, including, I have the new one, Stars Above, um, on pre-order, not pre-order, I have ordered it, it just hasn't arrived yet. So that is on its way. This is probably a spoiler, but as soon as I've finished the series or read the series, I think I am going to be all over this bag. Is this the book? <gasps> is there two books in here? The Time Machine, okay, so we have The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Wells. I'm watching The Flash and Wells is just, um, that just creeped me out a little bit. Go and watch The Flash, go watch it. Okay, it says here on the back, The time machine tells the story of the time traveller, an inventor living in Victoria, England, travelling into the distant future. Using his time machine, he encounters the descendants of humans and witnesses the end of life and earth. Wells' first published book, The Time Machine. Wow. Oh, it has some like creepy guys on the front here. Can you see their eyes? That is creepy. The fact that I love um, time travel, because I love time travel's wife, The Flash. Yeah, and I love sci-fi and I love love. So that was a nice idea that there's two books in this box. Next, we have a bookmark in here, guys. And that kind of goes along with the, the book. It's got that kind of um, machinery on it. But I guess that's a bookmark for my um, paperback book. And now the book of the month. It's called The Love That Split the World. I actually really like this cover, so it's kind of like, this is really pretty. It's kind of like space, like a split in space basically, and there's a girl falling, and then you have the title. And there's a note from the author. I like notes from authors, it's good. I mean, something nice, personal. In <gasps> 
just realised. Okay, so there's not just a note from the author. This box of magic is so special to personally introduce you to my book, The Love That Split the World. TLTSTW is about a lot of things, love, time, summer, family, identity, the power of story, but most of all, it's about plus for you. How you belong, how you fit here, how you are good no matter what someone else tells you, how you are loved even when you are scared, alone or just plain tired, you are irreplaceable. You are both very small plus unspeakably important. When the world is broken, your soft heart fixes it. Love, Emily Henry, and, that, and she's signed that at the bottom. What I was just screaming about a minute ago was the fact that there is a sticker here that says, because she jumped, the world was born, and the author has autographed it. Yay! It's a girl named Natalie Cleary must risk her future and leap blindly into a vast unknown unknown for the chance to build a new world within the boy she loves. Emily Henry stuns with a debut novel that marries the big romance and nostalgia of Friday Night Lights with the time-bending mystery of Time Traveler's Wife. <gasps> I told you, I love Time Traveler's Wife. This is just going to be epic if it's anything like that. Again, there is no indentation on the front. I really do like books with indentations, but this one doesn't have one. But it's a nice dark blue with the name on the spine and yeah, I will let you know how I get on with those. I am so, so, so pleased with what came in this box. Um, next month is Writer's Block, and yeah, I'm excited about that one. It sounds really good. It's apparently the best box they've actually ever made, and they're so excited about it as much as we are, so. Yeah. Here we have the December box. I have got my trusty clippers again because I still forgot to bring my scissors up. I really do like the way they package these up because, okay, saying that, got it guys, we're in, we're in, hair, <sighs> no idea what my hair's doing, it's all over the place, it's just been washed so it's just kind of that fresh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So that is what it looks like inside. As you can see, we have the Christmassy um, inspired. What do you call this? I always like the card, the the owl crate card of the month. I really like this because it has some things that they've, they've included from each box in the year 2015. So they started in April, I believe, or maybe it was a bit early. That maybe it was May. No. March and that's when I first followed them and I was really intrigued to how they were gonna set, set all this up and how it's gonna happen but they do have I believe um, I believe this is a Gryffindor Harry Potter scarf hanging up over here and then we have a Snape just in the top I believe um, we have the Halloween card in a little frame on top of the fireplace and got magical monthly reads, their little quote on the, on the box and there's just like all these little things like even some of the books on the shelf they're all little bits from the boxes that are included in this one card but on the back it has the outside of the house with the snowman and the little house over here and, and the theme is get inspired and I love to be inspired and when I heard the name of the December box I was like oh so good that I missed it but she, they put it back up and I was so pleased the first thing I'm going to take out of this box is this little small, I believe it's a candle here. I mean, as soon as I heard there was a candle in this, I was like, oh, I need this. Reading at the cafe, this one's called, so it's for book lovers, and it does actually say a book lovers Sawyer candle, Frostbeard Studio, Monopolis MN, so that's the brand. I need to smell this. Apparently everyone loves this, and if it smells of a cafe, I'm not one who likes coffee and tea, but I like the smell of a cafe, really weirdly, because I, I don't know, I find it cosy, warm, and I'm always up for hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, that smells like a cafe. <laughs> oh, there's a hint of like chocolate and there's definitely kind of like that cocoa rawness in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love that. I really like that. I don't really like coffee sweets either. Like, I don't like the taste of coffee sweets, but I love the smell. I don't know, it's really, am I weird? Am I weird like that? Are any of you like that? But 
I really like that. I would so love to buy more of these candles, but the shipping is not a lot expensive, I believe. I will check it out more. There's not much um, white stuff in here like there was in the February box. This little thing, oh my goodness, this is, this would be perfect. This is something I need. Like, I'm always making lists on my phone, and I have so many lists. I've started to get into the habit of writing things down on paper. I used to love writing my journal and my diary like every day but I got out of the habit and I just started to make little notes about what happened in that day rather than explaining the whole thing but I really loved this cute little to-do list. This super useful notepad was made especially for you by boygirlparty.com um, and then it describes like tells you about the, sh the shop that it features not just notepads like this they feature journals, cards, jewellery and clothing Everything at Boy Girl Party is designed and illustrated by me, so it's designed by a lovely lady whose name is Susie. I will check that out, see what else she does. But totally, I'm going to be using this to-do list like for the day, and if I get things done. I really like ticking off the things that, that I bought as well, so like making a I need list, or I want list, or Christmas list, birthday list like for a birthday party or whether I'm going travelling, it's, it's just going to be perfect. And I'm always looking for a notebook to write my list down and I can never find one, so now I have an actual proper to-do list. It's going to be handy and very useful. Next thing in this box, I believe this is a magnet, which I whacked myself in the nose. I believe I had had a look about this and I think it's like the, a prince or something, I think it's a prince. I need to check this out further and I'll put it in the description below what the actual title for this is. It's really cute. I mean, I don't have anything metal in here but I'm sure I'll be able to put it on my fridge or when I have my own place I'll put it on my fridge. This is the advertisement for the candle, so it's for this little guy. Um, this is the logo and the company company's name, Frostbite Studio, Book Lovers, Soy Candles. So all the candles are for book lovers. So that's great, that's awesome in fact, because I always light a candle when I am reading, it makes the room feel a lot more atmospheric and I get into the zone with a candle on and it's just a lot more calming with a fragrance in the air. I normally go for the warmer, spicier tones when I'm reading a book or like that cafe one, I'm so going to use that one. And there is a 15% off your first order on this, so that's good, that'll help me out with the shipping. This is by Potter Style and I have seen a few of their books on Amazon and eBay. I really loved, loved the Q&A journal book. I actually got one for Valentine's Day. It's a whole five years worth in one journal and it's a question a day and it's just epic. But this one, this is called What I Read. I cannot live without books. It's so true. So on each page you have like, you can write down the title of the book, the author, start date and end date. So it's a little it's like Goodreads, but in a book form, which is amazing. You can also put your rating, how many stars, and your thoughts about the book. And I always like to do this before and whilst I'm reading and after I'm reading. And I normally like to put a review on Goodreads. So this is very useful while I'm reading it and when I finish it. And then putting my thoughts down or like my favourite quote so I can then transform it into a review on Goodreads. I just remembered that throughout the book, on several cute little pages, on these little red pages, there are little quotes by people. Um, so this one here is, the proper study of mankind is books. And then on another page we have, real luxury is time and opportunity to read for pleasure. It so is. Like heaven when I'm reading a book and I go travel to a different world. You live so many lives, so many universes um, through books and you learn. Not only do does yourself like develop through books, your mental, your physical. I mean, it's like it's like watching TVs and films. I I love to watch The Walking Dead, not just because it's awesome and exciting and it's a zombie apocalypse, etc. But what happens if it actually happened? Like, I like to watch it to prepare myself for when it would happen. I I tell my best friend that that's how you should watch it because not to be scared of it, but just to be like, see see how it would be if you were in that situation. Like, how would you? get through that situation. And here's another one, uh, this is one of my favourites actually, it's a room without books is like a body without no soul, without a soul, and pff, it literally is like, you can't have a room without books, it's just, it doesn't feel right, so absolutely love that. And finally, I believe 
The next thing is the book. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's something in the back of this. Magnets that you can place together and then you have the book magnet in the middle there. And then the book is called The Da Vinci's Tiger. Exquisitely detailed story of the passionate relationship between artist and muse whose spirited yet gentle renaissance heroine put me in awe of just how far women have had to come in 500 years, beautifully painted. When charismatic Venetian ambassador Bernardo Bembo arrives in, in Florence, he introduces Ginevra to a dazzling circle of patrons, artists and philosophers, a world of thought and conversation she has yearned for. She is attracted to the handsome newcomer, yet conflicted about his intentions, choosing G Ginevra, 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 I don't know how to pronounce names, I'm used to this, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. As his pl platonic muse, Bembo commissions her portrait by a young Leonardo da Vinci. There we go. Posing for the brilliant painter inspires a captivating intimacy between them and a vivid backdrop of exquisite art, jousts and festivals. The young poet faces many challenges to discover her, ch her voice, artistic companionship and the love that defies categorization. In the end, she and Leonardo are caught up in a deadly battle between powerful families. It sounds so old fashioned, but yet yeah, epic at the same time. It sounds so good. I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it, but I definitely want to read all these new Alco books in one go. If I could, I would. But I absolutely love this box. I'm so glad I purchased it because I wasn't sure whether to like miss the March box and then buy this one instead. But then the March box theme sounds so brilliant as well. It's called Writer's Block and yeah, I cannot wait to try all of those things out. And that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel. We love you guys. We appreciate all the love you give us. And just follow all the links below if you want any of these books or any of these things that are in this box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I don't know how to say bye. bye. I can never say bye. Bye. Do you want me to say goodbye? Say bye. Look at this box. It's so epic. Ow. Okay, guys, we will see you next video. Bye. There you go. That's all you need to do. <laughs> do it together. Oh. Do it together. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye. 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 See you later. See you later, alligator. Seen the wild crocodile. Show me up. The battery's like dying. Okay, yeah. Bye, guys. And in case you haven't already noticed, I have a new camera. Yay! I really wanted to get a new camera, and here we are, guys. Here we are. I don't know where this is gonna go, but it's going on YouTube. That's where it's going. Time traveler in. And in an inventor, an inventor living in Victoria, I can't read. Dear Alcrete reader, I'm so blissfully happy to be writing to you from within this boy of magic. Boy of magic? Joy? I have no idea. Box! Oh my gosh, I cannot read. That is proof I cannot read. I will see you guys next time. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Let's cap's not a good idea. Bye.